Welcome to Kempo University. My name is Al Babnik. I'm your instructor. Uh, for school talks, every once in a while, uh, somebody says something about bare feet on the mat or shoes and stuff like that. And, you know, a lot of times in karate, the, one of the jokes is, wait, I can't fight you. I have to take my shoes off first. Uh, but what I've noticed personally is that when I have bare feet on my mat, the, uh, the amount of friction as you're pivoting and turning and moving is really about the same as if I was wearing tennis shoes out on concrete outside. So uh, to me, if you've got your bare feet on the mat or you've got con uh, tennis shoes on concrete, it's about the same. Now, if you happen to be wearing leather bottom shoes where they're going to be really slippery, those are pretty slippery in case you didn't know, then you want to think about what you're doing, right? Use a little common sense when you're doing stuff. Uh, ladies, if you're wearing something with a heel on it, you know, what can you do in, in that, you know? So can you still do your good kicks or would you want to get rid of your shoes if you had to fight? So uh, to me, bare feet on the mat is about the same friction that you're going to get for, for uh, any twisting or torquing or moving that you're going to get if you had tennis shoes or just regular loafers or whatever it is you're wearing or boots out on the concrete. So to me, it's about the same. I would suggest try it out. Next time you're at your uh, studio or dojo, see, try moving around a little bit and then immediately as soon as you get outside, you know, outside the studio after your lesson's over, try it out there and see what you think. Thank you for watching this video production from Kempo University.